Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the Paradigm AI Smoke Woods and Irons from Callaway. Nellie Corda joins us now. Nellie, congratulations. That robe looks so good on you. I know that you're a little chilly after the jump, but in your immediate interview after the win, you said that this is a moment that you've dreamed of since you were a little girl. So what is the reality now of being a two-time major champion? Honestly, crazy. Um, right now, I'm just... Uh, really really cold so that's all I'm, that's all my mind is thinking about I'm like shivering out here uh, but it's it was an amazing day I mean I woke up at four uh, this morning I had to finish six holes um, of my third round and then you know came back out here two hours after I finished and uh, started the final round um, and after you know, I started getting a little nervous on the back nine and it felt like the longest round of my entire life. So I'm so happy to be done and I'm just so grateful for all the support that I received today. Well, you, you were talking about your nerves, how you said you almost felt like you were gonna get sick on the back nine. Uh, you look though so calm and collected and it really looked like your tournament uh, the entire day until the back nine when it got a little bit more interesting with holes on uh, 11 and 15, you made bogeys. Uh, can you just kind of walk us through your emotions on that back nine? You said you're nervous, but how were you able to handle that? Yeah, I, I chipped in for birdie on 10 um, and then flared my driver out on 11, had a chip out and actually hit a really good putt on the green, just came up a little short. I wasn't sure where I was standing at that point, what the leaderboard was uh, looking like. And, you know, obviously nerve setting in, um, you start to hit a couple of loose shots here and there. And it was it was a long day. I mean, I've I've played a lot of golf today, so um, loose shots are going to happen. That's what my caddy Jason reminded me of that. You know, I've been out here for a really long time and it's OK to make mistakes, but to take it a shot at a time and then tried to get in that mindset um, not to get too ahead of myself and then on 15 I I should have backed off of that shot there was a gust of wind that um, kind of came up and I actually I usually have one waggle and I did two waggles and I should have just backed off but I didn't and hit it into the water on the left and hit actually a really good shot in um, it landed actually a couple of inches to the left of the hole and then I had probably a 20 footer ish for par um, but try to keep my head down <laughs> there's a lot of emotions that go through my head and uh, Jason's my go-to you know I always talk to him about absolutely everything even we we whisper about it uh, because I don't really want to talk too loud about all the emotions that I'm feeling but um, he's my he's my best friend out there the best teammate and I'm so grateful for him What's been the biggest challenge, you know, going into this week? It's a major championship. You compound it with the streak. What's been the biggest challenge, more so today, especially on that back nine for you to deal with? Yeah, it's just wanting it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes when you want it too much, you start to make so many mistakes. Um, so, and also the weather. I mean, we had completely different weather today versus the three other days. Um, it was so, so cold in the morning, and then the wind was actually out of the north compared to the other um, three days. So a lot of the holes played really different. So I would say just mentally tapping into, you know, my process and staying in my own little bubble was maybe a little harder today. But, um, again, I have a great teammate that reassures me um, every second out there. Nelly, when you think back to the challenges that you had with being injured with your back, with the blood clot, were there ever any moments during that difficult time where you had doubt about the future that you had in professional golf and getting back to a moment like this? For sure. I mean, it's so tough going through injuries. I mean, one was, you know, a health scare, and that was just um, really, really hard to just process um, and then the other one last year um, having my back injury and being out for a little was tough as well and I, I just thought I couldn't catch a break I, I thought that something was always going to happen and I was going to always have to take time off during a season um, and I just learned so much about myself um, you know not to listen to the outside voices and to really really stay in my bubble I think those things really helped me with um, sticking to my process and trusting the people that I have close 
um, on my team and being in my own little bubble because the outside voices can get really distracting. And uh, now moving forward, uh, you have you know a very big accomplishment uh, ahead of you, or you could possibly you know hopefully continue that streak, go six in a row. Uh, how much are you leaning back then on your bubble and your process uh, to, to move forward and do something that no one has done yet? Yeah, I mean, first I think I'm just gonna process this one and then I have a flight tomorrow to LA and uh, after that, you know, it's it's go time again. Get get back in my bubble, see the golf course, work hard, and you know, try to execute what uh, what we have. Okay, Nelly, be honest with us. When did you decide you were going to jump in the pond? <laughs> no, I I told myself if I ever win, no matter where, if it was back in Palm Springs or if it was here, I'm always going to jump. Now, did Gotta keep the traditions alive. <laughs> did you and Jason ever rehearse or discuss what your technique was going to be going into the pond? <laughs> no, but there was Kim jumped first, and then I think it was Chris, Jamie, Jason, and then I was going to go last. and. I saw Jason go um, uh, go with the cannonball, so I had to go cannonball as well. <laughs> you know, your parents have been out there, your family's out there. We know how much they mean to you. But, you know, how special is it to share that with them now? I, I was with you a couple years ago when you almost won this, uh, this championship, and now to get it done, how special is it to have them there with you uh, in this streak and this accomplishment? Yeah, so back in uh, 2021, I won my major in front of my mom. My dad wasn't there, so I, we were kind of joking that my dad wasn't allowed to go to majors <laughs> after that. But it's so nice. No, it's so nice to have him, have him come out, um, and both of my parents come out. Their support, honestly, it just, it's. I can't I don't even have words for it because all three of us are just so so grateful for them. They give us absolutely everything and we wouldn't be where we are without them. So I'm I'm always so grateful and thankful for them. And Nelly, just one last question. After the first win that you had in the streak, you took seven weeks off and during that time you were yeah. able to spend some time with your nephew Grayson. And we've been saying on the show this week that you've been playing some great golf in your anti era. So what has it meant to you to, <laughs> to be able to have this time with with your sister Jess and with your baby nephew Grayson? Yeah, so Jess actually came uh, over to Bradenton, Sarasota uh, last week. So I got to spend some qu uh, quality time with them, had a couple of contact naps with Grayson and then changed a couple of his diapers. So <laughs> um, it's been honestly, it's been amazing to see her in that part of her life, how much she has grown and how much she loves it. Um, Grayson is uh, he's such a dream come true and we love 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 getting updates about him every single day in the fam chat and um, I can't wait to see him again but gosh they grow so fast. Well Nelly congratulations yep. in your anti era you have been absolutely killing it yeah. on the golf course and we look forward to seeing you next week in LA but for now enjoy celebrating this major championship victory your fifth consecutive win. Thank you.